Oh, no, he hates this character. Oh, my God. Let's go. Sheik Falcon. Yeah. Johnny Gamble's worst nightmare, but he's actually fairly proficient at the matchup. Continue what you were saying about uh, Marth well. Falcon with your friendlies with Captain Yolo. Yeah. Oh, uh, the first oh. game. Oh, sorry. Can't quite get into it yet. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, all right. Continue. Continue. Yeah. Uh, from what I've played with him, uh, like I said, he has very crispy movement. What you're showing right now is, yeah, nice edge know, cancels. Not nice. really, not telegraphing his movement at all. I think. Ooh. Double jump. Uh, but once you do get a lock on him, so like the first game was really, first friendly was pretty close with my Marth. Uh, but then the second one on FD when he couldn't, mm. even though that's Falcon's best stage when he couldn't like slip and slip and slide yep, so much. Yep. I just really, it was only a two stock, but I felt ripped way more in control there. And uh, you either, there's one of two things that you can do against these sort of Falcons, and that's try to get a pattern on their movement and try to read them, which can be very, very risky, or kind of position yourself in a place where their movement can't really reach you and uh, just wait for them. Yeah. You know, it's just movement. It's not going to hurt you. Uh, and it will hurt you if you try to reach into it, you know, if you start reaching for the for the basketball when you're getting crossed up. Yeah. But uh, if you just stay out of the way, you just you get a lot safer. And uh, Johnny reconstructing and reevaluating his uh, play style as Sheik is starting to pr take a very much more defensive approach, and it's really paying off for him. Yeah, that was really nice card cancel down tilt because he knew that John was pushed back. Uh, that would be... He could, maybe he could think he could have boost grabbed after it or something, but I think considering a pop Malkin up, it, it led to that kill. Uh, I do like, even though it's <laughs> <laughs> rapid jabs to Falcon kick. Uh, even though it's Falcon's D tilt, I would have D tilted there every time. But out of the jabs? Yeah. Okay, but it worked. Oh, scoops him with an F tilt. See, That's another thing. I do like the idea of Capniolo going to the fountain considering his play style. Because, mm. you know, let's cancel dares. Yeah. But he wasn't showing that he was that proficient in it. And uh, those F tilts just covering so much of those platforms. Yeah, I would expect him to have better DI considering, you know, he plays Bobby. But maybe they just don't play this matchup that much. Alright. Uh, so game two, Dreamland? not going back to fountain, instead yeah. opting for Dreamland. I'm gonna say that I'm not a big fan of this because the sender is actually fairly safe for Johnny. Kind of a, a distance from the platform, so the movement, he can actually stay relatively safe. She really wouldn't just be a bad person. She can platform camp Falcon here. <laughs> Why is that? Does he need to double jump to the top or? Uh, that in combination with up air not doing a knockdown until like. 50% plus shield dropping ah, and needle yes. camping. It's like you, no one ever does it, but if you really want to be with that, she can do it here, I think. And Johnny just dismantling uh, Captain Yolo right now. Yep. Up a full stock. Oh my god, Crouch cancels the up air, the recovering up air. What do you think Captain Yolo needs to change? He's just, well, as you said, his DI isn't really looking the best. And he's, uh, I don't want to call him, I know he's, I don't want to call him tilted, but, you know, he's looking stiff right now. I think that he just needs to keep his feet on the ground a little more. Like, he's getting called out of the air, yep. shield drop, challenges Johnny on a platform, and he's trying to trick him up with platform movement. Johnny's having none of it. I think he just needs to plan his feet a little bit more and play, play the game of melee. Yeah, because she, she's, other than maybe more, if I'd say it's his worst matchup to jump in, but... Alright, stop me. Yeah, I would say this is the worst relevant matchup, at least, to do his jumps. Because Falcon, you at least have the detailed mix up. Yeah. But Sheik, you more have to play a very dash dance campy game to win this. Which he's not really doing. Yeah, we have not seen a lot of horizontal movement from Yolo. Yeah, he's trying to do the vertical movement we talked yeah. about, but and this is what he's getting for it. And when he does try to do his horizontal movement, he's not really mixing it up too much. So it's usually a couple quick sprints, like maybe one or two, and then he goes in with a nair. I'm not sure if that was intentional, but he did the double the jump stomp. I'm not sure if he like knew he was going to detail, but if he was, that's a really good read to know that he would go for crouch against the detail, or down smash, and just jump over it. Like how Fox would with uh, against Peach, you know, double mm -hmm. dare. Yeah. Oh man, Johnny. Johnny is good at this game indeed. Coming with his uh, invincibility, gets a little bit of a combo started on Yolo, but he manages to work yeah. his way out. Oh man. Yeah, like uh, Penny Otis just said in the chat, uh, he doesn't really look like he knows how to get out of the tap chase. 
Yeah, uh, we promise you guys, um, Yolo's actually pretty good at this game. He, he 2 0 Brog, but right now, it's looking, grim. looking like round one. 2 0 Johnny Gamble, Sheik Falcon. It's now, easy to SDI out the tech chase. Yeah, even though the tech chase is brain dead easy, it is also easy to. I don't get why Falcons don't just miss tech more and then base everything else off of that, but they try to pretend they're spacey and that they can like actually do traditional mix-ups. Now, the unfortunate thing about that